song time. Ole, 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 ole. Happy fuck the cup day. You all done fucked with the wrong bitch today. I'm just saying. I saw shit when I started watching Eric. I was, I didn't really uh, like it at first, and the more and more I saw him, and the more and more I saw what he's when it, when he did those streams where he was talking about law, and he wasn't just out causing a scene. It it made me understand it a lot better. And I now I back him a hundred percent. Would you say he's Would you say he's an evil or mean guy? Would you say he's a violent guy? Would you think that he would actually hurt someone? <laughs> no, he wouldn't hurt a fly. What were yeah. you gonna say though? Yeah. How did Eric change you, bro? He I mean, was the first you, person you, that I spoke to. Uh, I spoke to Eric when I first came into the community over a year and a half ago. And uh, he was he was the first auditor to actually reach out and, uh, you know, and talk to me. And uh, he basically inspired me quite a bit by showing me that there are educated people um, in the community working hard to make a difference. Um, and he inspired me in that way. So. Well, wow, bro, thank you very much for being on. Thank you for Thanks, your support. Man. Eric, I, this is, I just cannot believe they're doing this to him. You know? I can't believe it either. You know, um, I first started watching Eric before Freeman even got there, before Freeman. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. He paints his toenails. But, damn it, he's already tried to be quiet and nothing happened. That's the only way we can bring awareness is if we're freaking loud and obnoxious. Because he might That's turn right. some people off. But then you're reaching those people because then they start to hear the message. You know? Yeah. So how Eric helped me is, well, he helped me become loud and obnoxious. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> I'm actually really good at it. I mean, you know, and, that's and why you know, I have to. I had the same problem. Oh, I mean, not the same problem, but right, you right, know, right. I just I I met him, and then <laughs> I was like, oh, you mean I can talk like that freely, right? And it was like such a it was such a freeing thing, right? But yeah, yeah. Feels, that's so good, you know. <laughs> It feels really good. Well, the thing that really got me with him was Eric was like the big, I mean, I loved his signs and all that. And I, I love James Freeman's reaction to him. Like James Freeman, he made James Freeman speechless. Nobody does that. Remember when James yeah, Freeman no. came to see him? Nobody makes James Freeman speechless. Are you he kidding me? Him. I hung out with James Freeman for three, for three days. At, um, you know, the first, we went James everywhere. Freeman just stood back and watched. She was like, what? Yeah, I have cool. to tell you guys something, and I don't know if what I'm saying would be bad or if, if, if Eric would want me to do that or whatever, right? You know, because many people have asked, right? Many people have said, man, why don't you just hightail it, right? Why don't you just hightail it to Cuba, right? Or hightail it to Mexico, right? And, and bail out, right? Because he said that would mean that I would leave Carolyn, my bondswoman, and other bondsmen's hung with my bonds and i yes. would never do that to them yes not only that that just goes to show what kind of human being this guy is right yeah and i'll tell you what eric has embodied to me that he's embodied more than anybody else the notion that freedom is a team sport that we all have to be engaged in it because totally. they can because they can have you up individually they can't have everybody up and, and you know, the more people are made aware of it, the more it's, you know. Yeah, see, you see, that's uh, what I was saying. Can you can you imagine if this movement had a, you know, just one one Monday or Tuesday at court, right? And you had as many people filling up the streets in Denver as they do in in Hong Kong, right? Coming yes. over and filling up filling up that courthouse to where you couldn't walk out of the damn building to get to your car, right? Because it'd be like yeah. you had a damn concert, right? You know, absolutely. And, uh, you know, if it was like that, they'd absolutely listen, right? They'd be like, oh, oh my, right? The other the world point, would be listening. Yeah, the, the other really one, one last important point I really wanted to make is that those who are saying that Eric made a credible threat 
or that he was inciting violence, need to go back and look at what Donald Trump said about Hillary Clinton during the campaign. Specifically, those two A people need to look at her. And look at look at what this uh, chief if of that's police not a said. Credible threat. <laughs> well, how has Eric, Eric changed your life? Eric's taught me a lot of things. Eric's taught me how to research law. He's taught me how to interpret laws that I was not understanding the way that they were meant to be understood. And he's taught me about compassion. Not that I didn't have it before, but just to see that him, for one, I don't know if everybody knows this, but every single month, even though Eric's on a limited budget, he gets $100 in $2 bills and he hands them out to the homeless. Oh, yeah. More than that. Every, I promise you that. Oh, I know it's more than that, but that's just one of the things that he does. Basically, what I wanted to get on here and say was is that Eric's inspiration to me since day one, since I've uh, found him uh, on YouTube, which was about two years ago. Uh, when I first saw Eric, I didn't like him. I thought what he was doing was just obnoxious and- uh, I hear that a lot. And mind you, mind you, I was already kind of in the uh, First Amendment, Second Amendment activist community. And, and listen, I was watching Class with Bao He's the first person that I watched, James Freeman, and it just went from there. You know, the rabbit hole just kept going. But Eric has grown on me to the point where now I almost feel that he is probably my favorite. Um, I look up to him, and I think that what he's doing is an absolute asset and a, and a need for this community. Um, he might have a different way of doing things, but uh, it's his way. And it gets the point across. And obviously he's doing something right because they want to shut him up. And they wouldn't yeah. care about it if he wasn't doing, you know, so. If people yeah, only knew, I, if people I, really I, realized from our eyes, like when we see it, if folks really realized how much weight one email has, one phone call, uh, <coughs> <coughs> one letter, whether it be a letter to a prisoner, whether it be a letter to you know, a, a public entity, or whether it be to a certain person in a public entity, those things and the emails, they matter because when you share them, they become a record, right? And when you have a thousand records, that means something. But it takes to have a thousand records needs one person at a time to care enough to say, well, I'll send one. You know, you had a thousand yep. people that said, I'll send one. I'll take the time to send one. I'll take, I'll put a little bit of my time aside just to write something. That one little something, if you have 3,000 people that did it, can you imagine the weight that that would have? <coughs> I just cool. wanted to step in and, and just say something real quick. Um, yep. So before I ever got into any of this, about two years ago, I seen someone share a post on Facebook, um, and Eric was the first face I seen. And he was in the middle of a protest wearing his safety green with his painted shirt. And ever since then i've been inspired i've always been a lover of freedom but i've been inspired by eric way before I met any any of the rest of you and so whenever i finally got to meet him it was it was such an honor and he has been a true inspiration to me that's all i wanted to say i miss his ass and i've always loved his obnoxiousness <laughs> thank you for sharing that with us man we appreciate you thanks for uh Uh, you know, fuck y'all, and uh, <laughs> much love and respect to Eric Brandt. Free the Brandt! Yes, Free sir. Eric Brandt! Uh, thanks for doing the stream, and uh, my my first video I remember seeing of Eric's was uh, where he was getting on the bus barefooted, uh -huh. and uh, and my I, I just remember thinking, what an asshole this guy is. All these people are just trying to get to work, and he's fucking with them, holding them up, and and then they're saying stuff to him, and he's being a dick back. But then by the end of the video, I started getting his point, and, and I seen the way the people did treat him, even though he, he didn't make them happy, just just how they attacked him and all that. And I, I was thinking, you know, this. I, I started getting on his side. By the end of the video, I was like totally paying attention. I went back, started watching his other stuff, and, and understanding what he was doing, and I, I was totally on board. And I learned a lot from him, and uh. 
he was I think he was one actually one of the first people in the in the YouTube activism that I that I kind of ran across. I, I think Freeman was probably the first, like a lot of people, but he he was like right up there fairly quickly along. So I was glad that I I kind of got to learn some things from him. Like uh, I, I don't think I would ever would felt it was okay or, or felt comfortable redressing the government by flipping the cops off and doing that kind of stuff. And, and that is free speech and, and the, the extent of free speech it can be. And One's giving up. Is anyone giving up yet? Oh, no, there's no giving up here. You know, we, which you, we just want to say how, you know, how I wanted to show the public the difference of, because a lot of people say the ones that are trying to criminalize Eric, that they don't like him for what he says. Have you noticed that almost everybody on here usually started off with, you know, I really didn't like him when I first saw him. You know, but you know what the difference was, uh, Mouse? That these people listened. They took the time to actually listen to what Pay they said. They paid attention and they became believers, right? You know. Happy, 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 fuck the cops day. My it's every <laughs> hey, day if you go on YouTube, week. you'll be able to see it. This is how we keep them all awake. It's justice that we seek.